How common is it for a dealership to actually employ a compliance officer to oversee data or do they generally go after third parties or, or bring in subcontractors to evaluate and ameliorate the risk as an outsource? Well, I, I think uh, from a technology standpoint, you know, there's uh, probably a dealership level of sophistication based on size, car sales, where they start to outsource technology uh, and then even bring in, you know, and have a technology staff that maybe oversees and have third party assessments um, to ensure that everything's secure and they have good procedures in place. But from a compliance officer's standpoint, the, the, the government mandated that dealerships have a compliance officer defined when they put the red flags uh, law in uh, um, uh, seven to 10 years ago when they put the red flags and they, they dictated their expectations of a dealership. And they said that dealership is, um, you know, a, a, a basically a lender. They consider dealerships lenders because of their- a Financial they, institution. Yeah, the yeah. arranger credit model. So when they came out with the red flags law, they they said you need to have a policy on site and you need to have a defined compliance officer and he needs to sign this document. And, and they outlaid a bunch of expectations of things that they wanted dealers to have in place for that red flags regulation. So um, it is it should be common. Uh, if dealers don't have one, they need to get one quickly. And, uh, and because it's also part of the new safeguards regulation that's going in the, end of the year, you need to have a well, and they classify it as a, I believe it's called a well-qualified individual. Let's say, you, you know, you can't hire an intern um, and make them your compliance officer. You need to have someone that knows how to manage this process and, and manage your compliance functions and your safeguards uh, within your dealership. 